Tinyish Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to Tinyish Niger YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel. Hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, guys. If you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. And then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have presently available. Okay, so you can see me drawing my lines while I'm making the introduction of the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to cut a basque, an off-shoulder basque gown. So you can see it with the, you can see the picture there is, is a beautiful gown. That's what we're going to learn how to cut today. So I already have my lines here, so I'm going to go ahead and explain the lines to you. For those of you that don't know how to cut an off-shoulder, after this, you know how to cut it. So you can see the first line that I have here. This is my shoulder line. So since it is an off shoulder, we're going to be dropping with, you take out some measurement from your full length. So mine, I'm making use of six inches. You can make use of five inches. If you notice this off shoulder gown, it, it really came down. So that is why I'm making use of six inches. And then this is my bust point, which is 11. That's the maple point, box point. And then I have my under bust, which is 14.5. And then I have my half cut, which is 18. So this other part I'm going to use for the basque. So I'm going to explain that later. So the first thing we're going to do now, we're going to take out our dart. So since it is a bust here, the dart that I'm making use of is 4.5 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark 4.5 inches from the top to the bottom of my pattern. So the 4.5 is for my bust span. So that is the 4.5. Okay, so I've gone ahead and marked that. The next thing I'm going to take out the dart now. So for the dart, I'm going to take out on this part, I'm going to come to the under bust part. I'm going to take out 1.5 from this side. And then on this other left hand side, I'm going to take out one inch. So that means I have, I'm taking out two and a half inches for my that. So this is 1.5 on this side, and then I have one inch on this side. So I'm going to come to this top part. On this top part, I'm going to take out one inch, and then on this other side, I'll take out half of an inch. So this, I'll connect to this point like this, And then this I will connect to this point. So if you notice, you can see that my angles are a little bit sharp. I'm going to blend them. So you can see they are nicely blended now. So you can see my bustier curve is out. So the next thing I'm going to come to this point, and then I'm going to maintain my 1.5 downwards, and then the one inch on this side. I will just go ahead and mark them like this. So this is my dart line that I'm going to cut out. So the next thing I'm going to cut out before we continue. So you can see my bust here curve. It looks really beautiful and perfect. So the next thing now we're going to take out our full body measurement. So in order to take out our full body measurement, I'm going to take this like this. I'll place it here like this. And then we're going to go ahead and measure. The first thing we're going to measure from this top part is our shoulder measurement. So the shoulder is 7 inches. Since it is an off shoulder, I'm not going to make use of 7 inches. I'm going to reduce it by 1 inch. So I'm going to make use of 6 inches. I'll, from this 6 inches, I'll take half of an inch to stitch. So that will give it a perfect fit. So from this point, I'm going to take out my armhole, which is 18. When you divide it into two, you have nine. This is nine inches. I'll mark it like this. Okay. 
so I've marked that out. So the next thing now, I'm going to take out the bust measurement. So for the bust measurement, my bust measurement is nine inches. That's when you divide into two. When you divide into four, I beg your pardon. When you divide thirty-six into four, you have nine. So this is nine. So what I have left here, I'm just going to use that as my allowance. When I'm adding on my fabric, I'll put that into consideration. I'll add another one inch because my pattern paper is not enough. So I'm going to come to the under bust line. So my under bust measurement, I'll divide into, you divide into four also. I have 28. Divide into four and then I'm going to add my allowance. I'll just add 1.5 inch allowance. So from this point, I'll mark it in like this. And then I'm going to come to the waist measurement. That's the waist part. So my waist is 30. I'll mark my 7.5 divided into 4. And then I'll add my allowance. Okay. So after marking my allowance like this, I'm going to create my basque effect. So you can see what I have here. I have about 5 inches. So that 5 inches is enough for me. So this 18 inches is actual is my actual waist measurement. That's my half cut. That's for the back pattern. So from this part, I'm just going to curve those points like this. Just to create a, a basque effect on my pattern. So I'll take it to the center of my, so you can see it, it is a sharp basque waistline. So this part I'm going to cut off. So now we have, we have this. The next thing we're going to cut out now is our waist, is our neckline. So for the neckline, I'm going to come, show you how to cut out the neckline. It is a sweetheart neckline. So I'm going to come like this for the neckline. I'm going to use three and a half inches. So this is 3.5 inches here. And then I'm going to mark the depth of the neckline. So for the depth, I'm going to use eight inches. This is eight inches here. So what I'm just literally going to do, I'm just going to do like a back flip into that part. Okay, I'll just use my pattern curve. So you just do like a back flip like this into that point that will measure that was 3.5 inches that will measure and then you float it into the armhole part you just create your curve like this so if you have been following me you notice that i have a lot of neckline videos on my channel so you can watch that so you can see just do like a back flip mm -hmm. so i'm trying to explain this part so these are the parts that might give you problems so i'll go ahead i'll cut out the neckline now and then i'll cut out the side of my dress and then cut out the armhole and then remember our blend on this so you can see what we have. So I'll go ahead and open them now for you to see. If you remember this part also because of our of the basque effect on it. So you can see what we have. You can see how pretty it is looking. So you can see how beautiful it is looking. The next thing we're going to cut out now is this case. So for the back piece, I'm just going to, so for the back, I'm just going to cut out a basic back. But let's just finish with the front first. So we'll draft out our skirt now. So I already have my pattern paper here lined out for my pattern paper. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and insert my skirt measurement so for the measurement that i have i have this is the waistline 
and then this is my hip line and then this is my the full length of the skirt so i'll go ahead i'll mark my waist measurement on my skirt i'll just draft a basic skirt So I've finished drafting out my basic skirt. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add my dart. Okay, so you can see our skirt. So I'm going to show you now how to add your bust on your skirt pattern so you can see how simple it is it is a very simple process so just use it so this you can easily there's a way you can actually do this after sewing you can do this after sewing that's after joining your your bodies together you can actually do that or you can do this on your pattern before while you continue so i'm going to come to this waistline part i'm just going to bring it in with that same five inches that you added on it and then i'm going to curve it in like this this is a simple process just curve it in and then you cut it out so when you're cutting if you are cutting on your pattern don't cut directly on the line just take it a little bit upward And then you cut out so you can see what we have now. So you can see because we have not stitched, so when you stitch, everything is going to is going to go into it perfectly well. It's going to go in perfectly well. So that is for that. So for the down part of the the gown, if you want to add that plate to which you are just going to use your, your straight pattern and create your key splits to add to the down part okay so for the back pattern we are going to still use the same method so i'm dropping with six inches i have my bust point and my under bust and then my half cut which is 18 like i said and then i'm going to mark my dart so for the back i'm using my regular dart 4.5 inches from this point, I'm just going to mark it. I'm going to take it to the under bust point, and then I'll take out one one inch from the side. And then for the bust measurement, I'm going to go ahead, I'll add my bust measurement. So this is my bust measurement. You divide all of your measurements into four and then my under bust measurement and then my waist measurement so for the neckline for the back neckline the back is going to be like a tube so you see i used six inches initially so from this point now i'm going to make it deep that's six inches deep so i'm going to mark depends on how deep you want the back neckline to be so for the back it's going to be as deep as nine and a half inches so this is 9.5 so from this point now on this part where the shoulder line got to you are just going to create your deep curve if you want it to be as deep as the bust point line that's very deep you can actually do that I'm just going to do that and then I'll cut it out like this. So my zip allowance is already included in the back pattern.
so you can see the back how the back pattern is looking like so this is our front pattern okay guys so you can see at the end of the day you can see what we have for the front and the back piece okay guys so i've now come to the end of this tutorial so in a, an upcoming tutorial i'm going to show you how to transfer this to your fabric to cut and to sew to sew this dress so thank you so if you want to see how to sew it please drop your comment drop it on the comment section so it depends on how much comments we get so that is what will to help me to know if i'm going to sew, sew this dress so thank you so much i'll see you in my next video god bless you